Hello everybody, you're watching Mac Tutorial Films. I'm Arian and today I've got a cool tutorial for montage edits, for gameplay montage edits, and I might do an episode series of several things you might want to know, you know, get some tips for editing. And uh, today we're going to be doing some cool transition effects. Uh, this is one of the effects and uh, I might do some other tr different kinds of transitions. Uh, but this is the one I wanted to show you. And by the way, these clips are uh, from Fusion or F U Z I 8 N. And uh, he's doing an editing contest. If you don't know who he is, he's a really beast editor on for gameplay. And uh, he let us do a montage uh, contest. So he, he gave us these clips. And I uh, I might do it. I'm not sure. But uh, I just want to show you guys how to do these cool transitions for now. <laughs> so this is the clip. Uh, that I just edited, edit, 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 whatever. As you can see, it looks like a puzzle. Um, see how each piece comes down, and then this, you know, kind of rotates inward. Looks pretty cool, right? So that's what we're going to be doing today. And uh, these are the clips. This clip will be the first one. Uh, we're going to be transitioning off of this. Uh, so we're going to find a good spot, and we're going to find a good spot for this to start you know, freeze framing and bringing in the pieces. So let's find uh, this right here looks good. We're gonna take this clip, we're gonna click on it and duplicate it by hitting Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. And you're gonna leave the playhead in its place and you're gonna cut the top layer up to where the playhead is. And for the bottom layer, you're gonna click on it, right click, go to time, and make sure you freeze frame that. So it'll be a still image. As you can see, it's a still image. We're going to expand that a little bit. Then for... Let's find a good spot for the uh, transition in. And this spot right here looks pretty good. So we're going to cut that a little bit. And we're going to right click and... Hold on for a second. Let me zoom in more. Okay, um, I don't know why I have this all the way zoomed back. And we're going to right click on this layer and go to time and freeze frame this one also. And then we're going to duplicate this twice so we have three different layers. Or depending on how many you want, but this is the way I did it. One, two, and let's just drag these over. So, what we're going to do is, let's first show off the top two layers, and we're going to take this bottom layer, and we're going to take the pen tool, and we're going to crop out, or uh, do a masking of, as you can see, let me go back to the video and show you what we're going to be doing. Uh, right here. Alright, so as you notice, this piece comes up, or sorry, comes down. So we're going to do a masking of that object, and then the bottom piece, and then finally the third, which will rotate in. So first we're going to do the top piece. So we're going to take the pen tool. Whoa, what? Alright. And this becomes very simple when it's uh, objects like a wall. If it's, uh, you know, round or more detailed objects, kind of more challenging. And uh, it, it, all, it will obviously take more time. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of common sense, right? All right, so we're going to mask it on the upper side. And there you go. Now that's one layer. Uh, let's move this over a bit. Okay, now let's go to the second layer, and let's view that. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to outline these edges. And it's best to outline, when you outline, it's best to kind of bring the edge in more. So if the previous cut was here, you want to bring it in because this layer is going to be underneath, so you won't really see... The uh, you know kind of flaws in the cutting. It just makes it more uh, 
because sometimes you might cut this, you might bring this too far out, and it'll leave a cut in between the uh, footage. Oops. And we're going to do the bottom. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And the bottom layer. Now for the third layer, we're just going to mask out the doorway. Which is right here. I'm just going to guess it's right here because his leg is blocking it. So there you go. All right. Uh, let's bring this layer in. Uh, let's bring it uh, back more. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to animate the position. First, let's take this. We're going to take both of these. Go back to the regular cursor. You're going to drag this downward while holding down shift. So it'll bring it down uh, neatly and straight. That much. Oh. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with this layer. Okay, now let's find a good spot where we want to start the transition. So, so right here it freezes, and right about here is when the first top layer kind of, you know, slides right in. That's not the top layer, but uh, right here. We're going to click on the top layer. Or, sorry, it's right underneath, but I mean the layer that's coming from up, from the upper direction. We're going to go to the arrow, go to transform. You're going to click on the position timer. We're going to start doing keyframes. So, you're going to go command uh, right arrow or control right arrow to go to the next frame. So, you go slowly by slowly. So, right around here. So, about like two or three frames. And we're going to drag this down we're holding down shift and as you can see the blue outline around it helps you uh, bring it back to the same place it was and let go and this is how it will look like it'll slide down if it's too fast you can go back to the keyframes and and drag them out if you uh, you know spread them out more it'll be slower So as you can see, it's kind of too slow. Make it a little faster. So, all right. So the top layer and then the second part will come in. Boom. Right around here should be a good spot to bring in the, the uh, bottom piece. Do the same thing. Go to the arrow. Go to transform. Go to position. And go to the next keyframe. And drag this upward. I just made a big mistake. <laughs> I forgot. We can fix that though. I I don't know why I forgot to cut that out. I'm gonna subtract these two. All right, simple as that. Okay. So boom, boom. That was kind of too fast, right? So we're gonna slow it down by spreading out the keyframes. Spread this out a little bit more. Boom, boom. All right. And if it was too late or too early, you can you know drag both keyframes at the same time. Should bring these keyframes in more. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, but. All right, so there you go, right there. Just to make everything less confusing, these are the keyframes from the for the top piece. So once it hits a keyframe, it, it'll come into the picture, and then the bottom keyframe, or sorry, the top keyframes, <laughs> the bottom piece will come up. It gets kind of confusing when you say uh, top or bottom layers and pieces. Okay, now the last piece, so boom, boom, and then you want the third, which is right here. Let's bring this in and let's make that visible. All right, so we're going to rotate this. Let's go back to the transform. We're not going to click any of the timers. 
we're just going to go to the uh, rotation and let's see uh, let's drag it let's just make it like this and the position on the uh, y-axis you're going to bring it down and let's leave it like that now we're going to hit the position timer and the rotation because that's what we we uh, changed so we're going to go to the next let's say two keyframes and we're going to bring it back bring the rotation down to zero hit enter and then for the position we're going to bring it back to the default position which was 360 hit enter and uh, the y-axis you can fix that by hitting 640 and there you go so as you can see it rotates inward and uh, we should move this layer underneath the, the other two pieces and let's bring it back more oops yeah, let's cut this out more so boom boom and then and then this piece comes in the mask is kind of off that's why uh kind of takes time to fix certain uh mistakes that you made in the masking you can just go easily go back in and just drag it or add more points if you want by just clicking onto the pen and going to line you'll show a little plus sign just click on it you add more but yeah it looks pretty good right now so top layer bottom layer and then the third and then right around here we're gonna take all three of these select all of them cut them Cut them down to the same end. And then you're going to go back. Let's find the clip. Where was it? Alright. Should have duplicated the original footage before we made it into a freeze frame. I think right about here. Hold on, let me see how that looks like. I think right around here because you can see the couch. Yeah, so I think that's that's good. And we're gonna cut it down to there. And we're gonna bring it over and the freeze frame will continue. So and then there you go. So bottom top and then yeah, it starts moving. So I hope this helped. I know it was a bit confusing. If you have any trouble, um comment or uh, personal message me uh, for any questions and um, yeah that's about it guys if you want to see more tutorials on montage editing and uh, you know transitions and cool stuff like this please let me know and uh, subscribe for more videos because I will be coming out w with more most likely and uh, if you have any questions again comment and uh, hope you enjoy guys thank you for watching